for certain parts of Iowa. I wanted to bring up this drought monitor though. It does not include the rain we got this morning, but this is released uh, fresh this morning from uh, the areas down in southern Iowa, we can see Davis County, that red, that's new. That is extreme. So this does not include, again, the rainfall we got this morning, but it did fall in this area. So that is good news. We're going to have to wait till next Thursday to see how these rain totals affected that drought monitor. Taking a look, 1.65 in Grinnell, Marshalltown 1.43 this morning, just over a third of an inch in Atumwa and just under a quarter in Algona. But Algona, you have more on the way. You can see we've had this batch moving off to the east. This is what we saw this morning. We have a couple little rounds still firing up in north central Iowa right now. Mason City, it's moved through your area. Keep moving off to the east. Lightning trackers on. We're not seeing any out there. Let me know if that is not the case where you are. Algona getting some of those rains. Now take a look at this. This line starting to extend down south, so there is a chance of Polk County still getting some of these showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Temperatures currently, well, where the sun's not shining and there is the rain, we're in the 60s. That's right, very cool July day, but a little more sunshine and humidity. Creston, you guys are at 84, so it's kind of the tale of two days across the state. Winds right now, they are speedy. We have 15 in Waterloo, 16 in Grinnell, 17 up in Algona with those storms approaching. So it is a bit breezy out there. A little jiggle on the sky cam, but we have those overcast skies, those low hanging clouds out there. 76 degrees, not bad for the noon hour in July. Those winds at 14 here in the metro, and this is what's happening. This low pressure is moving its way across the state of Iowa. Now, as it moves, we're going to continue to see it spark off some more showers and thunderstorms across that cold front later this afternoon. That's where we could see that severe weather as that moves on through. So we will keep our eye on that. And if this clicker wants to help me out, I'll show you the storm outlook. Here it is this afternoon. This area shaded in yellow. This has the potential to see some severe weather. Now with this, the impacts are going to be greatest with the heavy rain. Also some large hail and damaging wind. There is a possibility of a tornado. Now up in uh, near Pocahontas, there has been funnels reported. That does not mean it's touched the ground. That just means that there's a spinning column of air up high in the sky. A lot of those funnel clouds will not reach the ground today. Now hour by hour as we go through the day, we're going to see those storms continue to track off to the east. They will continue to do so as they do. Some of these in eastern Iowa could be strong to severe. We'll keep our eye on that. Going into tomorrow, some spotty showers, mainly north and northeastern Iowa. And then there's another little chance of a very spotty shower in north central Iowa tomorrow afternoon. Then we're going to start to wind things down, clear it out, and have a beautiful weekend. Not much in the tipping bucket here in Des Moines. As you travel to the east, that's when we're going to start to see the rain really start to stack up. Now we're going to see those uh, temperatures 86 here today. Overnight tonight, those temperatures are going to drop into the 60s. Stars and clouds mainly dry with those storms off in eastern Iowa. Taking a look at the eight day, we're going to see things dry out this weekend. Lower humidity, perfect for ragbri.